Alrighty, hello guys, welcome your faces back to another Stormworks video! Today we are going to go ahead and try out the Rugged Raven. And there she is! There's the Rugged Raven right there! It is a giant tilt rotor helicopter, coast guard and rescue, multi-purpose! Uh, the one thing that I would say about this thing is it looks quite ugly. Only from the colours though, I think. I don't know, maybe the whole thing just looks ugly. Uh, I bet it's useful though, so that's good. Um, we've got a bunch of aircraft engine uh, engines right there, as you guys can see. Um, it looks a bit insane. We got search and rescue right there. We got coast guard. We got search and rescue again. We got another. Oh, that's the rugged raven. That's the name of the whole thing. Um, there's its little thing, and there's logs, the guy that made it. So that's cool. We're gonna go ahead and jump inside this thing, and um, yeah, I guess we'll see what we can do with it. It's uh, yeah, it's pretty big. It's multi-purpose, so there's a lot of things that you can do with it. Anyway, there's a door here. So we can just go ahead and walk up inside. That is really nice. That is really cool. Uh, door here so we can get in the back. And then we've got... Whoa! Okay, that is blinding. But until it opens, and then that's really nice. That is really nice. Uh, so right here we got an electrical connector. We got a fire extinguisher. We got a bunch of diamond equipment on the back. We got some parachutes as well. We got a little camera. So presumably you can see from up there. There's little windows there too. Uh, a little med bed. Uh, winch up, winch down. I don't know what this does. Is this another bed? There's another bed there as well. Not entirely sure why that has to be folded up, but, um, yeah. Nice. Alright, cool. Let's go ahead and close this door. Uh, it looks like we've turned around slightly, so we might have to respawn this and push it outside. Um, although it is a helicopter, so we should be able to move it around in here. I don't know. Okay, so it's got a little, uh, bit of, in or a few instructions. All we have to do is turn this on, and then- Whoa! Jesus! Okay, I wasn't expecting that. I was not expecting that. And then we go for engine on button. So there's a button somewhere that says engine on. Where is it? Front hatch. Engine's on. There we go. All right, good. We're ready to go, I think. Uh, is there a way of turning this off? Because that seems a little insane. There we go. We're off the ground already. We just need to get ourselves out of here and then fly away. And there we go, we're out of the hangar already, yes! I like the way this thing is uh, is built. So we've got the massive propeller at the back, and then we've got the uh, the little small blades at the front, which is kind of cool. Um, yeah, I don't know what mission we should do with this. It should involve putting out fire, so maybe we'll do the fort one. I've never actually done the fort one before. So yeah, let's try it. Alright, so it's 10 kilometers in that direction. Let's go ahead and lift off, and uh, it is kind of like a VTOL, I think, so... We should be able to change into like another flight mode somehow. I'm not entirely sure how that works, but there, there is definitely a way of doing it, I think. Possibly. Uh, I don't think it's anything to do with up there though, so let's not look at that. We got a toggle button right there. We got prop pitch. Okay, tilt rotors. There we go. That's it right there. All right, do it. Oh, oh, whoa. <laughs> okay, we fell out the sky a little bit, but we are flying forwards now. Amazing. So the front one's tilt, and then the back one stays upwards. That's just awesome. That is pretty cool. Alright, so flying in a straight line. I don't think we can pitch up, actually. That's weird. Very strange. Alright, go ahead and set that as a destination, I think. There we go. Yep, and go ahead and put this to, like, 55. There we go, and it should just do it, I think, possibly, maybe? I don't know. I don't know. It doesn't appear that we can, like, use our pitch now, so... I guess we're just flying in a straight line. No, we are going down. We are totally going down. Uh, altitude on. Hold on. There we go. Okay, so you can use these screens. You can you can do things on these screens. We got autopilot. Let's turn that on as well. And then it should take us to our destination. Yeah, it is. It's gonna. That's amazing. Okay, so I can see it just in front of us right now. I don't know how you turn these things off. Is it even possible to turn them off? I'm, I'm not entirely sure. Uh, right there, we got a camera so we can see where we're going. If we zoom in a bit, we can see the island right there. Whoa, what's happening? Oh, it's got like an auto-stop mechanism too. That's insane. All right, okay, cool. Can we turn these off? Turn it off, turn it off. There we go. We're in this flight mode now. So if we can go down, we need to put out that fire. Oh, Jesus. Okay, where's our... Uh, cannon. Our cannon is actually at the back. Alright, maybe not the best place for the cannon for this mission, but we'll try it. We'll try it anyway. 
Okay, where's our fluid pumps? Uh, water can left, right, up, down. Okay, no. Uh, we need to actually drop the thing in the water, though. I don't know where we do that. Is it up here? Blue fuel hose. No, not that one. Um, we might have to go at the back. I, I feel like we do have to go at the back. All right, we're going to go down a bit. There we go. We must have quite a big winch on the back, right? Maybe? I don't know. The fluid cannon might not might not actually work here. All right, we'll try our best. Here we go. Leave this here. Run to the back of the... Wait, what is this? Oh, here we go. This is what we need. This is exactly what we need. Pump water to tank. Oh, is it already full? Oh, we've already got water. Ah, interesting. Okay. Uh, I guess we could just fire it in then. All right, you guys ready? We don't actually need the hose. I don't think. We can just leave this here. Okay. Go ahead and turn this on. And point it down a bit. Uh, down. There we go. We're doing it, I think. Yeah, we're doing it. We're putting out the fire. Amazing. Oh, we're so good. We are so good at this. Okay, we did it. We completed the mission. That was actually pretty easy. Also, how much water have we got on this thing? Because we're, we're still, like, full. <laughs> we are still pretty much full. All right, I'm going to go ahead and turn that off because we don't really need any more. Uh, we're going to go do some more missions with this thing because it's amazing. Okay, first mission, we're going to go ahead and grab all of these dudes and get them on board. Then we're going to go ahead and do another mission as well. Uh, all we need to do is pick these guys up, so it doesn't really matter um, how fast we do this, to be fair. I, I think it's okay if we just land, we put it on the ground. Hopefully it's not one of the helicopters that likes to take off again, once you've landed. Because uh, they, they're really annoying when that happens. Anyway, go downstairs. We could probably open the front. There we go. And we got like a little ramp at the front. Wait. Why isn't it folded all the way down? Uh-oh. Okay, hold on. Let me get in the harness. Can we fold the ramp down? Is there a way of doing that? Because it's, like, just not working, really, is it? Uh, maybe there's no way of doing that. I don't know. I don't, let's go to the back one instead, then. Because that, that is not right. Um, back ramp, open Chesamu. We might as well go out the side door, because it's there. And then get all the dudes to follow me in. All right, one, two, three... Four and five. Follow me, everybody. We're going to get in the back of this thing. It's insane. All right, come on. Everybody in. Pick a seat. I wish they would just sit down by themselves, but they don't. You have to put them in the seats by yourself. There we go. All right, is that everybody? Go ahead and close the doors. Bam. All right, cool. Close this door as well and get out of here. Okay, so I'm going to be honest. I try and do this with almost every helicopter I get, but we're going to try and lift up the oil tanker again. Uh, it just seems like a good idea. Also, I'm in the wrong seat, but it was working, so that's cool. Uh, we'll go to like 111, that's okay. We'll go ahead and turn on altitude hold. There we go. And autopilot as well. Wait, actually, there we go. Turn the autopilot off and on again. Is it going to go over there? Do we have to turn the tilt rotors into tilt rotor mode? I can't remember where that is. Is this it? Yeah, there it is. Okay, so it does drop a little bit in case you guys are going to do that. It does fall slightly, so you got to watch out. But, uh, yeah. Also, watch out for this. 2-2-2. Two, two, two. There we go. we got to go above the wind turbine. Otherwise, we'll crash into it, I think. Um, and, yeah, we should be there really, really quickly. Because this thing's actually quite quick. Also, there are a few doors on the side. In case you want to go out on a balcony, you can climb up onto the side as well. And uh, you can go to the back and talk to this if you want. Hello, uh, X H two four one two. How are you doing? You can probably get on the roof as well, but it's not a good idea. There's helicopter blades up there. Um, you can crawl under here and see these little lights. Yeah, a bunch of things you don't really want to do, but that's okay. Go ahead and close the door. We'll put our parachute back because we don't necessarily need it. Is that a heater as well? Oh, we got a heater on this thing. That's good. That's real nice. What does this do? That's lights. There's a top hatch. And yeah, you, you don't really want to be doing that because you'll die. You, you will die. Okay, close the door. Get in our little seat. And we're almost there. I can see the tanker right now. So we're gonna we're gonna pick this up. I think we're gonna try and pick it up at least. Okay, I've set our altitude to like 44 or something like that. Turn the autopilot off. There we go. And we need to position ourselves directly above it so that we can just fly away with it um, now. Yeah. Okay, we need to be able to use the magnets too. We need to be able to use the magnets. So uh, let's line ourselves up with this. Just a little bit. We don't really need to be fully lined up. That's okay. 
In fact, let's go down even more. We'll go down to like uh, 15. 15. I don't know how high that thing is. 15. Oh, yeah, that's good. That's good. That's a good 15 height right there. Okay, cool. Now that we've got this, can we pick it up? Wait, what's this? What is this? Whoa! Oh, is this for the cannon? No, this is a map. This is actually a map. But you can see through the floor. Interesting. Okay, right, cool. Go downstairs. We need to go ahead and lower this. Not this one. Okay, how do we go... How do we lower the other one? I don't know how you do it. I don't, I don't know where it is. What's this? Toilet door? It's even got a toilet. I didn't even realize. Wow. Uh... Okay, I don't know how you use that winch on the bottom. I'm not entirely sure. Um... Dutch light, water cannon. No, we don't need those. Water pump. No. Ah, I don't know where it is. I don't know what, what controls it. Oh, this will be it right here. There we go. Cargo winch connector on. Beautiful. And then we'll sort of position it by ourselves because we're smart like that. Okay, altitude old off. Go up a little bit. Oh, that's actually quite a big winch. All right, go down now. And connect it. There we go, we're connected. Are you ready? Go, go, go. Oh, I thought it would be stronger than this. We're actually getting pulled back down. Interesting. Okay, so I'm not entirely sure. I, I don't think it will be able to lift it. Um, unless we got some special powers somehow. Which we might. If we go ahead and we set our altitude to 11111, it doesn't really matter how high. And then we turn it on. No. No, it's not strong enough. It can't do it. It can't do it. Uh, is there anything else we can do to increase our power? No, I don't think so. All right, cool. Well, well, we can't lift this. It was worth a try, though. Okay, what if, though? What if we go ahead and we put it into this mode? Whoa. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Not a good idea. Not, not a, not a... Oh, does it float, though? It might float. Yo. Does it float? It might float. Go ahead and turn this on. Oh, we've only got one blade on the back now. Oh yeah, this is this is not good. Wait, tilt rotor though. The other way. There we go. Because our air inlets are on the top. Yeah? But we can't lift off now because we're missing a load of blades off everything. Okay, ripperoni and pepperoni to this thing then. Wait a second, water's inside here. Water is inside. All the dudes will be dead. Yo! Oh, they're all dying. They're all they're all dying. Oh, it's because this is open. No way, I left the door open. Now we all now they all died. Oh, I'm dying too. Ugh. Ugh. Oh, this is not good. Yo, we're underwater. <laughs> this thing this thing would work really well as a submarine, if it would work as a submarine. You know, like the whole cockpit looks amazing for it. Uh but no. This is this is not good. Go ahead and stop doing that. Uh, I think we're dead. Bilge pumps? Oh. Maybe that will work. I don't know. Maybe we can pump out the water and then get out of here, maybe, possibly. Hmm. I, I currently don't think... Oh, there's dead people. Oh, there's dead people down there. That is just wrong. Oh, I don't like that. Oh, that is disgusting. That's actually really, really creepy. Hot diggity dog. All right, well, uh, anyway, I I managed to crash this thing into the water, and we, we've sank it. It can do a whole load of missions, though. If you ever need to transport people, it'll definitely do it. And if you ever need to uh, carry some stuff on the inside, it'll do it as well. And it'll, I guess it'll lift up some light things as well, uh, in case you need to do that. But, um, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and leave this one here for now. I might end up using this again in the future. Not so sure. Uh, but, yeah, thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.